just a short little clip to show you what the madness is going. You know what all that is? That is from seeds that I took out of a store-bought spaghetti squash. I put 10 seeds in five different areas in this raised bed and two plants came up and this is what's going on. <laughs> I cannot believe how many friggin squash is growing out of this thing. I mean, I, I, I bought seeds. I started it in the greenhouse for spaghetti squash and only got one spaghetti squash out of every plant but this is ridiculous like I'm thinking that this is is on steroids or I don't know like look at this okay I mean it's all over the place. It keeps going every day. It's like a, a foot longer. So, uh, I'm speechless. So, uh, yeah. So, don't buy seeds. Just uh, buy the vegetable and, um, you know, do that. <laughs> like I'm a lot cheaper. I cannot believe there's like 20 of them. But, real quick, these are the peppers. They're okay. The windstorm really knocked them over. There's, oh, the wind's not doing good, so good, but look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. It's on this side, too. Look. That's my time. It's almost done. Look. Look at these. They're... And it's overgrown on this side, too. Oh, look at my basil. I got so much basil out of there, you guys. And there's this. I don't know if you remember... I had a volunteer squash plant in here. I don't know if it's a melon, if it's a squash. I don't know what it is. But look at on this side. You see that? What the? What the? What the what? Cilantro. It's almost gone. It's getting really hot. So I, I, I can't figure it out, you guys. I don't know what this is. But it is a squash and it's just overgrown. Look, it's taken over. Just... I mean, I didn't even pay for this either. It came in the soil. I don't know what it is. See, it's got something. There's something. If you can identify it, let to me know. I'm pretty sure it's a squash or pumpkin or something. But, yeah, so uh, the tomatoes have gone nuts. See, the squash is taking over. It's my parsley in there. It's ridiculous. That's the butternut squash on this side. It's, it's you know, that's that's a squash right there. That there's some. Okay, I shouldn't have bought seeds and planted and all this stuff. I just, just I didn't. That's crazy. So yeah. Oh my gosh. The big garden is has a couple zucchinis growing out of there. And uh, tomato plants are going nuts. I mean, I put a picture on my community page. To, <laughs> I did, uh, what, um, 14 jars of enchilada sauce today with those tomatoes. So I still got plenty more. I'm having a good time with this, let me tell you. It's a good year. You know? The, the bugs started getting in there, the aphids, and we sprayed it with a soapy water solution. Boom. Taken care of. So, if you were standing here, you could smell all these herbs. It's so beautiful. Alright, so, there's the quick, quickie update on the garden issue. I just had to show you this. Let me stand back. You see the greenhouse in the back? It's just a monstrosity. So, uh, yeah, spaghetti squash. Uh, put it next to a fence and just get a squash from the store. And use those seeds. It's a lot cheaper, a lot easier. Get better results. <laughs> That's my advice for the day. Y'all have a nice weekend. Bye bye. All right, just a quick little thing here for Daddy Dutch Barbecue, Kent. I told him to do bone meal with his peppers. I've already plucked about six peppers out of here, but you spread some um, organic bone meal around your pepper plants every two weeks. And water, and you get beautiful things like that. Yeah, so, alright.
for real. Now I'm saying goodbye. Bye-bye.